Hi everyone, I'm Rachel, AKA Just Dimple It, and today I'm here with my good friend and trainer, Alyssa. She and I are gonna walk you through a very quick five minute core workout. This will for sure leave your abs burning like crazy the next day. Let's go. To know me means you know I love boxing, so here we go. Let's start this ab workout with standing crossbody punches. Make sure you're really keeping your core engaged and pivoting from your hips. You'll feel a good oblique burn after doing this for 30 seconds. Next up, we've got standing toe touches. While standing, kick your right leg up so it's 90 degrees to your left leg, or as close to that as you can, and reach your left hand to touch your toe. Alternate between left and right legs. Now let's stay standing and move into standing side crunches. Place your hands behind your head and bend your right leg up and meet your right elbow to get as close to touching your right knee. Alternate with your left side. Now while still standing, let's move into standing bicycles, alternating by keeping your hands behind your head and meeting your left elbow to your right knee, then your right elbow to your left knee. Keep this up for 30 seconds. Let's move down to the floor and get that basic crunch in. With your feet firmly placed on the floor, hip distance apart, and your hands behind your head, lift your shoulder blades up off of the ground and crunch up to feel those abs burn. You all are probably familiar with bicycles. These really activate all of your ab muscles. We've already done these standing up, so now let's do them on our backs. You wanna make sure your shoulder blades are off of the ground and your left elbow reaches for that right knee and alternating from side to side. Single leg V-ups are probably the hardest ab exercise, for me anyway. Just like so many of these ab exercises in this series, you wanna make sure you're reaching your hand for the opposite side, this time all while lifting your upper body off of the ground to form a V-shape with your leg. If you want a good example of this, watch Alyssa and not me on this one. I think this is the move that definitely had me feeling sore the next day. Next up, we've got diamond crushers. This is similar to a crunch with your hands behind your head, except now, instead of your feet touching the ground, we wanna make sure the soles of your feet touch each other. As you lift up your shoulder blades off the ground, keep your feet together and bring your knees up to try and meet your elbows or as close as you can as possible. Hang in there, we're almost there. Now we've got some heels to the sky. For some extra back support on this one, place your hands underneath your butt, and now let's raise our hips off the ground with, you guessed it, your heels reaching for the sky. Make sure to slowly lower your hips back down on the decline. All right, this is the last one, you've made it. We have plank hip taps. So getting into a forearm plank, hips are parallel to the ground, 
Rotate your hips now from side to side, left to right. You don't have to touch the ground, but try to get as close to that as possible while still maintaining good form. We got this guys, only 30 seconds. Congratulations, you've just completed a five minute ab workout and hopefully you'll be feeling that burn tomorrow. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time.